Good morning and welcome to the hills of Maplewood. Ah, my friends, as always, it is a delight of mine to come to you on these occasions in these places that I hold so dear and I hope that you enjoy these moments. Today is a gorgeous day as I'm out in the early mornings, as I'm beginning to see the sun rise off in the eastern skies. It's a day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oftentimes when we wake up in the early mornings and uh, we begin to think about the day and what is the day going to present itself as? Is it going to be a day of challenges? Is it going to be a day of joys and celebrations? Is it going to be a day of fears of the unknown? Well, some days they are. The fears of the unknown. We don't know what the day is going to present itself as. Uh, we hope and we trust that God will walk with us in that day. But with that in mind, I thought to myself, what if we are fearful of the unknown, of this new day that the Lord has made? What if we're anxious about what the day might present itself as? So with that being said, I would like to bring to you a text, a text that I love and I hope that it brings you comfort. Uh, it does for me as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a text that's coming from Isaiah. Isaiah 41 verses 9 and 10 and I've shared it with some of you. But I want to share it with all of you today as we come into this new day. And it reads like this. You, whom I took from the ends of the earth and called from its furthest corner, saying to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and not have cast you off. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. And I will help you, and I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. So whatever the day presents itself as to you this day, go with the confidence in knowing that God has chosen you. You are a servant of his, and that he will be with you. So do not fear. Do not fear whatever the day presents itself as whether it be a day of victories, whether it be a day of celebration, whether it be a day of joy or of sorrow. May it be a day that we rejoice and celebrate in the Lord, for he has chosen us, so we need not be afraid. So my friends, as we go out into this new day that God has blessed us with, let us go with the faith and the hope and the confidence in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessings to you, my friends, this day from the hills of Maplewood.